Hi guys, welcome po sa Hugot Sip na yan. This is Sir Javier Matka Hugot and welcome po sa ating channel. So para po sa video natin guys ngayon, ang pag-uusapan natin ay continuation o yung part 2 guys ng converse inverse at contrapositive statement. So ito po ay bahagi ng grade 8 second quarter. So determining inverse conversion contrapositive of if and then statement. Ngayon guys, ang bibigyan pa si natin guys ay yung higher level ng mga statement na ito. Na kung saan pagko-combine kung bay natin siya para malaman natin kung paano ba siya talaga gamitin. But before that guys, let's try to recall muna kung ano ba yung converse, inverse at contra positive. So, without further ado, let's have this video. So, we're trying to tell guys about conditional statement. So, recall muna natin what conditional statement is. Pag sinabi conditional statement, ito po ay joining two statement, P and Q, where they are if and then. Kung saan guys, yung ating P idea or ating P statement is said to be our hypothesis and ating Q naman ang ating conclusion. Na kung saan ginagamit natin yung if P, then Q. Now, under guys ng... Mga logical reasoning na to, yung three related statement natin, which is the converse, inverse, at contrapositive. Na kung saan, ginagamit kayo sa ating yung rule ng swapping or interchanging ng hypothesis at conclusion, at also guys, yung negating ng hypothesis at conclusion para mauha yung mga statement na ito. So, sabi daw guys dito sa logical equivalence, kung tayo ay nagsimula sa ating if and then statement na if P then Q, doon lumalabas guys yung ating mga logical equivalence. So kapag we're dealing with converse, so pagpapalitin lang natin ang hypothesis at conclusion. So yung po tinatawag na converse, nag-interchange lang o nag-swap lang ang hypothesis at ang conclusion. Kapag naman kinuha guys natin yung negation nila o yung mga not nila, doon po lumalabas guys yung inverse. At kapag pinag-combine nyo guys yung interchanging o yung swapping ng hypothesis sa conclusion, kasama guys yung negation nila, dun po nung lumalabas yung contrapositive. So guys, para malaman ko kung talagang naintindihan ninyo at talagang nagets ninyo kung paano ba ang tinatawag na logical equivalence, so nag-prefer ako guys dito ng tatlong item na, na dapat yung sagutan. This will be only good for 5 minutes guys. So, tatlong item siya. If and then statement to. Tapos ibibigay nyo lang po yung logical equivalence sa bawat statement. Okay guys? So, you have 5 minutes guys. Good luck. Para malaman natin kung talagang naitidahan nyo guys. Kung ano ba yung converse, inverse at contra positives. So, timer start now.
Okay, time's up guys. So, I thought you're done with your activities. Activity pala. <laughs> Parang ang dami, no? Your, ang given item natin ay tatlo. So, sagutan na natin isa-isa. First guys, ang event and statement natin for number one ay if an object is a rectangle, then it has four right angles. So, dito naman bas guys yung kanyang converse na if an object has four right angles, then it is a rectangle. So, tama po ba kayo doon? Sa inverse naman, if the object is not a rectangle, then it has no four right angles. At sabi daw dito, pag siya daw ay contrapositive, if an object has no four right angles, then it is not a rectangle. Okay? So, yun po guys ang ating uh, if and then natin. So, converse at saka ang ating inverse. Okay? So, who got three sa first item? Okay, that will be your score guys. Para mas sa second item natin guys, we have if and then statement. If a ship is a rhombus, then it is a square. Mm -hmm. So, for sa converse natin, if a ship is a square, then it is a rhombus. Inverse natin, if a shape is not a rhombus, then it's not a square. At para naman sa contrapositive natin, if a shape is not a square, then it is not a rhombus. Diba? Now, who got a perfect score of 3 for our second item, guys? So, alam ko guys, ha, nagets nyo yung idea nito. So, pagkakatanda lang guys, ha, yung noun, pronoun, at saka po, subject, verb, agreement, lagi pong gagamitin ng mabuti yun. Okay? Now, we will try to continue with our fourth item here, guys. So, ito po yung, ah, sorry, third item natin. If the polygon is quadrilateral, then it, then it has four sides. So, if the, for our converse, if the polygon has four sides, then it is a quadrilateral. Inverse natin, if the polygon is not a quadrilateral, then it has no four sides. At para naman sa ating contrapositive, if the polygon has no four sides, then it's not a quadrilateral. Now, how many got the perfect score, guys? So, very good po. Doon po sa mga hindi. So, try to keep up, guys, para mas maintindihan niyo po. Now guys, ang ating sunod na lesson ay kung pa paano ba pinagkukombine yung mga statement na to. Ito parang higher level siya guys, ang logical equivalence. So, sabihin nyo guys, yung dati nating logical equivalence, tinasam pa natin ng possible na idea nito. So, let's try to have some example muna. Determine the logical equivalence of each given statement below based on the situation given. So, Guys, yung ating sitwasyon na given ay mas papatasin pa natin yung higher, higher nitong level. Kung baga dito, hindi lang natin basta ba siya hanapin yung converse, inverse, contrapositive. Paghaluin natin ngayon. Doon po sa mga n-toppers dyan, yung mga nag e top ito ginaginagamit talaga to guys sa mga questioners sa M-top. Example, may if and then statement tayo. If an object is a rectangle, then it has four right angles. Now guys, we're looking to find the converse of the inverse of the st given statement. So sir, paano pa yung converse of the inverse? So kasi ibig sabihin, kailangan mo muna kunin guys yung inverse, saka ano mo kunin yung converse nito. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang siya basta-basta, kunuha mo lang yung inverse niya. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin guys, paghalo-aloin natin. So syempre, we start with the if and then statement. If P, then Q. Okay? Now guys, ang una nyong papasarin guys, yung una munang ibinigay, which is the inverse. So dito guys, unahin nyo muna yung inverse para makuni yung converse na yan. So, ibig sabihin, making that inverse, it will become, if not P, then not Q. In short, kukunin natin guys yung negation. Ibig sabihin, maging siyang if an object is not a rectangle, then it has no four right angles. So, we're done guys with the inverse. Ngayon, ang bibigyan pa si natin guys ay yung converse. Di ba pag sinabing converse, 
pinagpapalit mo yung hypothesis mo at saka yung iyong conclusion. Now guys, ang tanong, ito po ba ang gagamitin sir o ito? Ito po ang gagamitin. Bakit po yan ang gagamitin? Kasi po, after natin guys kunin ng inverse, ito na yung bago mong hypothesis at bago mong conclusion. So, pag ginawa mo yon mag interchange kang na yun. Kaya po maging sagot mo, if an object has no four right angles, then it's not a rectangle. So po siya yung converse ng given item na mula sa if not P, then not Q. Magiging siyang if not Q, then not P. Pinagpalit guys yung hypothesis at saka yung ating conclusion. So medyo guys, nakakalito to. Pero basta alam nyo guys yung rule for uh, converse, inverse, at contrapositive, madali lang po to. Okay, ang una natin ginawa guys, ito ay inverse. Siyempre, kinunan na natin yung negation. After kunin ng negation, saka po natin sa in interchange. So, sa sino guys, sa inyo yung nakaka-recall kung ano yung sagot natin. Ang sagot po natin ay yung contrapositive guys. Nang given if and then. Okay. Let's try to have another example. Paano guys kapag inverse naman of the contrapositive ng ating if and then? So recall muna natin guys ha, ang ating hypothesis, original hypothesis natin, yung ating rectangle as an object. So that is if P. Yung then Q naman natin ng ating conclusion which is then it has four right angles. So hypothesis conclusion, isa-isain po natin. Ang sabi na dito guys, syempre, siya po ay if and then. Una natin guys, sa hanapin ay yung contrapositive muna, bago po yung inverse. So, pag contrapositive, mula po sa if P, then Q, magiging po siyang if not Q, then not P. Okay, matik po yun. So, if an object has no four right angles, then it is not a rectangle. So guys, binabase ko lang po yung ating sagot base po dun sa given rule for contrapositive. Okay? Ngayon guys, ang sabi, kailangan po natin siyang kunin ng inverse. Pag kinoming inverse, yung negation niya, i-reverse mo. Ibig sabihin guys, yung mga no at not, mawawala. Making that happen guys, if the object has no Uh, if, the, if an object has four right angles, then it is a rectangle. Yung po itataw na inverse ng contrapositive na kung saan guys, ang sagot natin ay yung mismong converse niya. Okay? So, napasin nyo po guys, para sang yung naging converse ang sagot. Okay? Now, ang guys, ang mahirap lang dyan yung pagtatluhan na. For example, Find the inverse of the converse of the contrapositive. Yan, medyo nakakalito na yan. Pero, let's try to stick out with our rule na simplihan lang muna natin. Dalawa-dalawa lang. So, somehow guys, sa mga difficult video natin, for, for M-toppers po, at saka po sa ating mga student guys, so, pwede bang simplihan lang muna natin. This one is very good example na to para malaman natin na pwede palang pang-combine yung mga logical equivalents. Now, for our third example, and this will be our last example, guys. So, inverse naman, guys, ng converse of the same statement. So, mag-start tayo sa if and then. Converse muna, guys. Sabihin, pagpapalitin natin. Okay, matik. Nakawag na sa natin. A inverse ang sunod. Ano ba ang inverse? Negation. So, from our converse, guys, hanapin mo lang yung negation niya. If an object has no four right angles, then it is not a rectangle. Na kung saan guys, ang inverse ng converse ay syempre yung contrapositive. Okay, so that will be how do we combine logical equivalents kung saan guys, given ang if and then statement, napagkasama-sama po natin yung mga logical equivalents base sa kanilang mga rules. Okay? So guys, pagkakatandaan po guys ha, pag sinabing if and then, 
hypothesis and conclusion. Ang IP po ay hypothesis. Ang DenQ natin ay ang ating conclusion. Pag converse, pagpapalitin lang po ang original hypothesis at saka yung original na conclusion. Kapag po inverse, kukunin lang po yung negation ng hypothesis at saka po negation ng ating uh, conclusion. Now, kapag po tayo ay na contrapositive, pagpapalitin po sila at saka po kukunin yung kanilang negation. So, that will be our lesson for today is about logical equivalence, guys. I hope you learned something from this video. If you like this video, kindly like this, share it with your students. If you're a teacher and para po sa mga classmate ninyo, guys, sa mga manunod ko dito, so don't forget to share this with your classmate para po mas masagotan nila, guys, yung kanilang module or mas makatulong sa inyong klase. Okay? So, do not forget, guys, to follow my page. See you on the next video, guys. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe my channel. Who got sip na yan? And also, my Brian Real Life TV, guys. So, meron po tayong page sa Facebook. Yan po, hanapin nyo lang po. And don't forget to follow my Instagram, guys. Nakita nyo po yung mga travel photo ko diyan. So, wala pa akong travel vlog. But I'm planning to have one. And, guys, syempre ang aking channel, Brian Real Life TV and Who got sip na yan. So, God bless po. See you in the next video, guys. Buhay po kayo. God bless.